Hey guys, so we're a week into our adventure, eight days to be exact. It's Tuesday lunchtime. We arrived at this stunning location late last night after a stormy drive for the mountains. Um, we've been out for a walk on the beach with the dogs. Dogs have had a play in the sand. We've got the drone out, went for a dip in the sea. It's proper nice here. The van is parked about 50 meters off the beach. Um, so it's pretty lush. It certainly is. We're just south of Valencia. I can not think then. We're just south of Valencia, about 15 kilometers south. And it's a really nice, quiet location. Like you pretty much have the whole beach to yourself. There's a few fishermen, a few other bathers, but that's it. So it's proper lush. So we've been eight days on the road so far and all is going really, really well. The second episode of our Euro trip adventure to show what we've been doing since Granada will be coming out in a few days, probably on Friday evening. So watch out for that one. So we thought we'd make this video today about a few things that we've changed for the better in Vinny since our last trip round Spain and Portugal. These have made a massive difference and will be huge game changers on the big Euro trip adventure. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the solar setup. Now this is just absolutely brilliant. So we wasn't sure how it was going to perform being like a kind of cheap basic system, but it's just really, really good. I mean, it's made a huge difference because previously with, with our channel and editing these videos with Premiere Pro, which is the software I use, it just eats the battery. And previously when we've done trips before we installed the solar, you know you had one laptop charge and then when that died we had to drive for like half an hour so we could charge up the laptop again which meant we were restricted in where we could stay and for how long we could stay somewhere some of these videos can take you know anything from four to eight hours it's like you know it's like being at work for a day you know i do enjoy doing it but it takes a while and um, without the solar panel it just wouldn't be possible so, you know, I'm happy if the sun's shining, we can just sit there and edit all day, which is fantastic. It's a massive game changer for us. Not only that, these last eight days, the sun hasn't been out as much as we'd hoped for, really. We've had a lot of grey and overcast days and the solar system is still working totally fine for our needs. So that's our number one improvement from our last trip for this big trip is definitely the solar panel. Close second would have to be the bikes yeah the bikes are massive as well like already in eight days we've had the bikes off three or four times it's just great you can just leave the van and go explore and cover so much more ground we don't leave the dogs for as long as we left them before not that that matters because they're so knackered that they don't want they want to just <laughs> sleep so they're happy Check with this that one out. Yeah, the bikes are a huge bonus. We were debating whether to get fold-up bikes or mountain bikes, and we're so happy we got the mountain because uh, we've been out three or four times already in this first, you know, seven or eight days. And generally the hills have been quite steep or it's been rough terrain. Um, so if anyone's deciding which bikes to get, we'd definitely recommend mountain bikes. So yeah, the bikes and the solar system is the two main things that is gonna make such a difference on the big trip around Europe. So other things that have been great are smoothie making machine. And that is one thing we did miss massively when we were traveling around before in Portugal and Spain, because we do like to have our fruit smoothies in the mornings. And obviously without a smoothie machine, you can't just, you know, you can't just crush it all up, can you? So now we've got the solar system, we bought the smoothie machine and it's been really great. We've had smoothies pretty much every morning. Such a good way to get fruit. You can just chuck it up, chuck them all in straight away for breakfast big fruit hit for the start of the day so yeah that's brilliant and along with the smoothie machine i also bought my blender yes my hand blender for making hummus for making soups for making falafels and i've used it already three times so that's another great thing that i've been able to bring along with us as well well on the subject of kitchen stuff this 
is amazing. Simple, it's just a water filter jug, but it's brilliant. We bought a few extra filters, and this means that whenever we stop somewhere, we can just fill up our big 20 litre container of water, and then just pour it through here, and then we drink it. Yeah, I think in Portugal it was constantly going to the supermarkets and having to buy bottled water and you know that's sometimes a bit of a pain so we don't have to worry about that anymore. We can literally just drink any water wherever we go by filtering it first with this. You've just got to be careful with it if it breaks then back to bottled water. <laughs> Lines of bottled water on the steps. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, call me a big kid, but these walkie talkies are brilliant. Um, I got them a little while ago for the van but they're so good because you know not always have you got reception and plus if you're traveling around Europe your data and your free phone calls you're not always going to have. I'm going off for a walk with the dogs or something I just take one of these or if Sarah's off checking out um, if the road's okay to drive down for the van. So yeah these are really handy and even just directions help in parking. Vinny's not got a quiet engine so she takes one of these out, then she can help me get into those tight spots. So brilliant. And who doesn't love playing with walkie talkies? Come on, everyone so. loves playing with walkie talkies. <laughs> so I think that's that's most of the things. I mean, there are lots of little changes we've made to Vinny, just little improvements um, that make life easier, but we won't go into those on this video. That'll be in another video in the future. Yeah. So yeah, as we said before, um, we'll be bringing out episode two close to the weekend or on the weekend and that's going to be a regular thing. We're going to try to every weekend bring out the Euro trip um, episodes which will show what we've done during that week. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give us a little thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. So you don't miss out on any, any. of the future adventures. Yes, and watch out closer to the weekend for episode two of our Euro trip. Hope you're enjoying it so far. And here's and here's a little bit of footage. <laughs> Sorry. Well, and we'll leave you with some really cute doggy footage. It's a beach life, isn't it, Charles? It's a beach life. Oh, Oh, I'm gonna get the sand out your face. Get the sand out your face. Let's go and have some breakfast. <laughs>